Hello again, welcome back. Got another one from Flavorly and from Tempest Brewing in Gala Shields in the Scottish Borders. And this is from my Flavorly box, I've got my Flavorly glass. And this is a 3.8 West Coast Session IPA. In the searing desert heat, the pale armadillo is burnt up and burnt out. I know the feeling. This is not a mirage. This is a dangerously drinkable IPA made for the lost and the thirsty. Citrusy Amarillo meets tropical citra and juicy mosaic for the ultimate session pale. Unfiltered and unpasteurised. Keep cold, drink fresh. It's definitely cold. It's just in the fridge. Uh, package 16th of May 21. Best before the 10th of May 22. So it's what? Six weeks old, something like that. Let's crack it open. Look forward to this. It's a red hot day. Well, for Scotland, it's 20 centigrade or something. I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit. Like 74. You bet the end there. Uh, <laughs> Beautiful colour, like a pineapple juice. Uh, there's a slight haze to it, that could be the chill. But a finger of white, creamy, rocky. Foam. It looks gorgeous. So we wee release of the aromas. Oh, it's like an earthy smell. I forgot to put the recorder on. What an Egypt. <coughs> I've been having trouble with my microphone, my wireless mic. It keeps on cutting out. So I'm just using the the microphone on the GoPro media mod. So it's not too bad. It's a boom, a wee boom mic facing forward. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Anyway, let's see what it tastes like. What an Egypt. Slanjivar. Cheers, my dears. Tiny grapefruit. Don't know what else. <laughs> Herbal, maybe. Something. I don't know what else is going on there. Let's have a wee look. We'll go through the, the tasting sheet from craftbeer.com. Link in the description. And the colour first, it's probably a 40 or 6. Something like that. Yeah. Yeah. There is a slight ease. I can see my hands through it, but not clearly. So, 40 or 6. Clarity is uh, slight haze. Chloroform head retention. It's not really kept that at all, has it? Uh, I'm going to say uh, moderate. Foam texture, it's fluffy now, but it's, then it goes thin. What about the lacing? Oh, it's, there is a nice bit of lacing there. Uh, carbonation, visual. I can't see anything. I'm going to put none. Alcohol aroma. I can never smell alcohol, so. Not like it's whiskey or rum or something. Uh, the hops, I'm getting like an earthy smell there, it's like a, it's not good. I'll put that in, earthy, um, it is citrusy, green, herbal maybe, piney, 
Yeah, it's hard to tell. I'm not getting any in tropical or fruity, really. Well, apart from the citrus. The malt, maybe very slightly like a white bread. Yeah. The esters, grapefruit. Flavour and aftertaste, alcohol, not detectable. The hop flavours, the citrus, the pine. You know, there's a bit floral going on there as well. I'm not saying it's like eating a bunch of flowers, but there's something that there is. The hot bitterness is restrained. Straight, restrained to moderate. I don't know what the IBUs on this are. <coughs> Does it say? No. I look on untapped anyway. The malt flavour is probably bready. The uh, malt sweetness is low. Palate astringency is low. The body, I've got to say drying. It's not thin, it's got a medium body. Palate carbonation is quite low. Yeah, it's low. It's quite smooth though, it's nice. The length, I'll say medium up to 60 seconds. Desirable. Style appropriate. So, my glasses have been breeding. Uh, let's have a wee look on Untapped to see what it says. Um, I never checked Beer Advocate, maybe I should start doing that. I don't think I've even joined it. Look at Pale Armadillo, Tempest Brewing Company. IPA session 3.8 ABV. The IBU is 25 just. 9,766 check ins with an average score of 3.55. Uh, malt, Golden Promise, Hops, Amarillo, Mosaic, Nose, Orange, Citrus. Yeah, I was getting grassy grapefruit. Maybe a, a, bit, a wee bit orangey. No, citrus anyway. Palette, light malt, citrus, tropical fruit. Tropical fruit. No. There is a slight sort of a fruity sweetness. It could be like pineapple or something. It's subtle. Yeah, a tropical hop fueled West Coast Wanderer. The armadillo transcends the ages. Have I read this already? Expect waves of zesty citrus rolling over local barley, giving a nod to the session ales of yesteryear. Hop amplified for flavour. This is beer for the present day. Light, hoppy, tropical, fruity citrus. I'm not getting the tropical at all. But I'll give it out of 10, I'll give it, uh, it's a nice beer, I'll give it a 7.5 out of 10, that's a fair score. Would I buy it again if i seen it? I don't know. If there was nothing else, <laughs> I'll fly. I've got the window open so there's flies coming. Eh... Uh, I probably would buy it again, I don't know. If I seen it on the shelf, I probably would grab it. It's an okay beer. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you soon, hopefully. Ta-ta for now. Cheers, my dears. Yeah, it's okay.